yeah, just like we saw yesterday. You, you worry about a driver mistake, a mental error. But yesterday we saw a mechanical problem that caused the big one. Right. Johnny Sauter running fourth, cut down a tire. Treble, turn one, hard a car in the wall, and spinning down to the bottom. There's going to be 10 or more cars involved. Johnny Benson. Here they come to the flag, and everybody pretty much out of the throttle. Mayhem in turn one. Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the eight car. I want to check. He may have been involved in that. There he is right there. I think he made it. He was so far in the back, Larry. I think he made it through okay. A little bit of damage to his left front. There you see Ryan Newman in the 12 car. Casey Mears, the nose of his Dodge torn up as well. And Hermie Sadler has crashed out of this race. No dreams today for Hermie. This was his very first restrictor plate race start, Hermie. Jeff Burton on the right, Casey Mears on the left. Darrell, there was contact and one car shot up, hard hit to the outside wall, flames erupted, and everybody piled in. Well, let's see if we can some kind of idea about what happens here. Darrell, I believe the 12 car, Ryan Newman, looks like he was out of shape, maybe starting to get loose by himself. And Newman almost flipped over. Remember, he had that hard crash at Daytona where he got on his roof at uh, back just, in February. I can't imagine that uh, there wasn't some some sort of contact that started that because that looks so violent. Man, that car was almost over to, on its top right there. It hit that wall a ton. Rusty Wallace, his teammate, the two cars involved. As they come through, watch for the last two cars, which I believe, uh, there's Earnhardt Jr. up high getting through with Schrader and Tony Raines. Jr. and Raines are the last two to get through from Rusty Wallace. That was Ryan Newman's tire right there bouncing over the fence. There's Dale Jr. right there, look at him. I think he got just a little bit of damage on that left front. Let's ride with Dale Jr. Yeah, right there he got in the back of the 30 car. Can't see a thing, look at that. And this is the camera, but remember, he's seeing the same thing out that windshield. Except his windshield doesn't clear like this one. Schrader got into the side of him a little bit and he got a little damage to the front when he got in the back of the 30 car, but otherwise I think he's gonna be all right. I, I'm not so sure that Mark Martin in the, in the 12 car didn't make some contact. Man. The tire went completely over the fence, outside the racetrack. Yeah. Did the Jimmy Horton. Matt Yoakum. Mike, over the past 45 to 50 seconds, Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been talking on the radio, diagnosing the cosmetic damage to the car. He said he got into the back of the 30, which you saw in our video. There is damage to the left front bottom fascia. They've got a piece of aluminum already cut to do some work. He also said he got into the 49 of Ken Schrader, not sure about the right side or the rear. They're gonna change the tires because he flat spotted them by locking them up. As Phil drives trying to work on that left front corner, they're beating it out. Now he's got the hammer. Not as bad as they thought by listening to him on the radio or watching the video. But remember, aerodynamics so important. But remember back to Daytona two years ago where he lost the whole right front fender. They replaced it and he was just as fast or faster. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal here. But aerodynamics so important as they are cutting another piece of aluminum here to work on that front corner. Let's have a look from Matt. At Matt Kenseth, a lot of damage there. And Mike, the good thing about these guys working on their cars on pit road, the pace car's running 70 miles an hour, but it takes almost three minutes to get around this racetrack. And when you're working on a race car, that don't seem like long, but that's a lot more than anywhere else we go. Tony Stewart with a little damage. Here's Steve. And Mike, Mark Martin assessing the damage to the rear end of the number six Viagra car. Mark, what happened? Uh, the 12 car had a tire go down uh, right rear. And uh, Ali, I tell you, 
this Viagra team just, <laughs> I tell you, I can't believe it. Uh, we just we just can't get on a roll, you know. We run so good on the racetrack, and and uh, man, we've just been really up against. Uh, uh, we had a lot of good luck, I guess, last year, but boy, it's sure coming back to honest this year. Mark, there's a lot of damage. Can you get the race car back out there? Yeah, we'll get back out there, but it sure ain't gonna be pretty, you know. Uh, our our day is wasted, and um, it's just, uh, you know, I, I'm disappointed. We we had a reasonable car. And uh, nothing was going on there, and, and uh, there was nothing that anybody could, you know, I was just in the right spot to be in a wreck. The 12 car had a, looked like a right rear or a left rear uh, go down, and he crossed up, and there was no way to do anything. You know, there was no way to avoid it. Thanks, Mark. 26 cars in all, Ricky Rudd's among them, involved in this accident in turn one. Let's ride with Ricky Rudd. Kurt Busch is the only one that was not involved in that wreck. And remember, that's at 190 miles an hour. Fermi Sadler, day ends early. Six laps complete in the errands 499. Welcome back to Talladega, where Rusty Wallace's car gets the long, slow ride back to the garage area. One of 26 cars involved. There is the car that, that triggered it. Yeah, and the left front wheel, that's what we saw go over the wall. That's, it's ripped right off of that car. It wasn't the right rear, it must have been the left rear that he had problem with. Yesterday in the Aaron's 312, on the 10th lap of the race, the fourth place car, right there, Johnny Sauter, cuts down a tire, goes to the apron, and back up, and the track just clogs. In today's crash, it's Ryan Newman who has see, a problem. See him get a little bit loose there as he goes down into one, and then he gets real loose again and gets down into Mark Martin. And uh, that sets his whole deal off. And boy, that 12 was, when the wheel came off of it, that's what caused it to almost go over, dug into the racetrack. Two cars almost got through. Here comes Bobby Labonte from the right side of your screen. Here comes Bobby. He's going to miss it. He's going to miss it. He's going to miss it. No, he's not. Couldn't do it. And then the other guy, here's Dale Jr. right here coming down through there. Uh, and he's been all over the place, made a little contact, not a lot. And he is going to miss it. He yeah, makes it through. I think he missed it completely here. The damage he got was when he got in the back of Jeff Greenway back over in turn one. He was four enough back that he didn't get run over from behind. Here is the first page of cars involved in the crash, which uh, now total 27. And these are in numerical order. And there are the rest. Let's go to Steve Burns. And Mike is a swarm of mechanics working on Jamie McMurray's battered race car. Jamie, first of all, are you okay? Tell us what happened. Yeah, I didn't really take that hard of a hit. I just, um, I saw the 12 car get out of control and I didn't know if someone ran into him or what happened, but um, you know, he, he came up the racetrack when I got on the brakes. Whoever was behind me ran to me, and then it just kind of a chain reaction. But we didn't really get hit that hard. I'm hoping we can get the Havilland Dodge back on the racetrack. All right, best of luck. Let's go to Jeannie. With Jeff Green, can you take us through what happened from your vantage point? Well, I couldn't tell you, Jeannie, what happened until they said uh, 12 might have blown a tire or something. And, you know, unfortunately, we have to race four races like this. Um, half the field's going to be, you know, a lot of cars are in the garage area, so how good a race is that going to be for the fans? And I know it's a, a fantastic race to watch, but... For us, it's pretty, pretty, pretty exciting and pretty mentally draining, and we—it's just tough to get. You know, we've, I hadn't had a good weekend for our oil Chevy yet uh, down here. This week's end's been pretty, pretty bad for us. So hopefully, we can get away from here and go to Martinsville and try to win a race. What could make this better? Uh, <laughs> a weekend off. How about that? Oh, fair enough. You feel good. 27 cars in the crash. 17 of them are in the garage right now, including Hermie Sadler's. Let's ride with Johnny Benson. Looking back at his teammate, Jerry Nadu. All right, let's ride with Nadu then. Johnny Benson just ahead of him. And 
the view from Winston Cup champion Tony Stewart. you walking you're doing okay word is that you cut a tire is, is that what you know it went down I don't know if it blew or what but it, uh, it cut a tire and then I got loose and then I got hit and then that was it are you doing okay I could be better don't you think I guess so I just want to know you're healthy all drivers involved taken to the care center for a checkup and released that's the good news the bad news is that 17 cars right now are in the garage area and more are on pit road under repair is brought to you by Aaron's Sales and Lease Ownership. C. And welcome to this Visa race break from Talladega. Fox glad to have you with us. Chris Myers from the Hollywood Hotel. We are under caution after the biggest one. 27, at least 27 cars involved. There were 24 last year in the wreck. Jeff Hammond is down at the cutaway car in a moment. He'll explain and help us understand Ryan Newman's incident, which triggered this incident on lap four. Of course, you saw on Saturday in the Bush race, a big wreck as well. Watch the 12 car lose a tire. The tire flies over the wall. Later, Ryan Newman's car would uh, catch fire. And 27 cars involved. Ryan Newman was last at the Talladega Spring Race last year. Remember, he finished last at Daytona this year. And there's a look at his car. And for uh, further explanation, uh, let's go down to Jeff Hammond at the Ford Cutaway car. Jeff? Thanks, Chris. We saw right there with Ryan Newman's car. The left front was literally ripped off that race car. Now, NASCAR has anticipated this. If you look right here, this is what has happened. This is the A-frame. This is the spindle assembly, tie rod in. NASCAR requires everyone to have what they call a tether that helps to hold this wheel to the race car in the event of a serious accident. But you saw that impact right there. It literally sheared and ripped this tether apart along with the ball joints and sent that left front tire careening over the outside wall. That's the reason why the tethers are there. But if you also notice, when the car was being brought in, back here in the back, NASCAR also has tethers on the rear deck lid. A lot of times when you back into the wall, the deck lid can be ripped loose because it's only held on by a few hood pins and a couple places as far as the hinges are concerned. They've also put tethers on the rear deck lid. They've seen these parts of the car fly off before and they've done everything they can to make sure they stay connected to the race car. Chris? Thanks, Jeff. This has been a, a Visa race break again. Last year, there were 24 cars involved in a, a wreck that happened later in the race. And again, this just after lap four as Dale Earnhardt Jr. survived uh, that without too much damage, some minor damage, about 17 or 18 cars in front of uh, the accident which took place in the uh, previous wrecks at Talladega. We mentioned 24 cars involved last year. There were 21 cars involved in 73, 20 cars involved in a wreck back in 91. And in uh, 98, a wreck involving 20 cars, but 27 the most on record here at Talladega. Let's check in with the uh, rookie Casey Mears. He's with our Steve Burns. Steve? Yeah, Chris, Casey and I just remarking all these expensive race cars and sophisticated equipment, and the tool of choice back here is a hammer. Casey, a lot of work going on to your car. Can you get back in there? Yeah, we're going to get back in. You know, the guys are working real hard at it right now. I hope nothing's wrong with the motor because we had a little problem with it on the way back trying to get it in. But, uh, you know, it's just a shame. I guess, Ryan, my blue left rear tire, so there's nothing anybody can do about it. Um, just feel bad for the guys at the Target Dodge. I mean, uh, we worked real hard all year long. We've had some good runs, but just haven't got the results and thought we could have had a good one here today. Casey, did you see it unfold? Was there any way you could try to avoid it? No, I mean, you're just running so close here. I mean, it's just a matter of time when someone, you know, has a problem and you just get caught up in it. There's nowhere to go. I mean, you're stacked, you know, three wide and everybody's right up on you and you're right up on the next guy. And as soon as that happened, he went to the top and everybody tried to do what they could. And I started to slow down and Rusty got in the back of me and then I got in the back of Jamie. You know, it's just, there's just nothing you can do. Thanks, Casey. Let's go to Jeannie. Well, I was just thinking that uh, Jeff Hammond's cutaway car probably has a lot more going on than your car right now, Jimmy Spencer. Hey, hey can I race Hammond's cutaway? <laughs> it's got a lot less damage in this. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, it was a bad deal. You know, Ryan uh, cut a tire down and sideways, and uh, nobody could miss him. And I'm just, thank the good Lord that nobody got hurt. You know, that's a big thing. Uh, Mongo spotted it. Look out, look out, go high. And I didn't listen to him. Uh, I, I went down low, and... Uh, I, I don't think I could have missed it high or low. And Mongo's mad right now. Hopefully, uh, Darrell will do real well next Saturday for him at Martinsville. All right, someone let this dog out, and we'll get him back in. Guys? 
All right, thanks. Jimmy Spencer, who never forgets, would probably like to forget this wreck. Again, all drivers safe, no serious injuries. We're under caution, a lap away from going green on Fox.